What's going on everybody? Today I want to talk about one of the most important features in Helldivers 2 that you actually can't see in the game, and that is supply lines. So when we look at the galactic map, we pretty much see everything you think we would need. You can see the major orders, you can see every sector, you can see the planets in the sector, you can see what we got to defend, but the galactic map is missing one major thing. It doesn't show the supply lines. You see, the galactic map really doesn't look just like this. It actually looks like this, and all of these gray lines you see here connecting all of the planets, those are actually the supply lines. Now the supply lines basically show us how all of the planets are connected together and show us what we can attack. And this is very important because without knowing how all of these planets are linked together, we can actually make some serious mistakes in the Galactic War, and we almost did during the last major order. A lot of people thought that when we took Oshan, since it was right next to Zagon Prime, we would be able to actually launch an attack to liberate Zagon Prime. However, that's not exactly how it works. You see, if we look at the supply lines, you will actually see that Oshan is actually connected to Omicron, which means that instead of just being able to take Oshan and then take Zagon, Prime, we would actually have to go Oshan, Omicron, then Zagon Prime. Which means instead of having to capture two planets by going and taking this planet, it meant that we would actually have to take three. And it also determines what planets that the automatons, aka the oil bloods, can actually capture as well. You see, right now they basically hold Mevlon Creek, and that's the reason taking the creek is so important, because right now Mevlon Creek is actually connected to Dropnir and Manus. So unless we take Mevlon Creek, they will keep attacking this sector and they will keep pushing forward and they might take drop near again and if they do that they'll have access to 10 quan again and if we lose 10 quan it might take our mechs away now when it comes to the bugs they do not have to attack via supply lines they don't really use ships to travel so we don't exactly know how the bugs are picking what planets they're going to take over but we do know right now that the only time the bugs have taken a planet if it's right next to a planet they already control and like I said, while the bugs aren't beholden to supply lines, we are. So in order to liberate planets that the bugs take, we have to fight them back via the supply lines. Which makes absolute sense. I mean, armies do need to be supplied, so of course we're going to need to follow the supply lines so we can keep pushing the attack. But if you look at the map, you'll notice that some of these sectors are not actually connected to Super Earth with supply lines. And we don't exactly know yet how we'll get access to new supply lines. Like right now, we're about to take Omicron, but Omicron doesn't connect to any of these planets right here, so we don't exactly know how we'll make the jump from Omicron to, let's say, Gemstone's Bluffs. But if I had to put my money on it, I think this would actually be done with major orders, aka something that Joel turns on himself. Now, I don't really know why they haven't added these to the game, because if you look, like, there is a lot less information here than we see here. And I really think this needs to be added to the game, because it would stop a lot of miscalculations, like the whole... Oshan to Omnicron situation. Now, if you're looking to find a map of the supply lines yourself, this is actually called hd2galaxy.com so you can actually check it out it has a lot of cool features like it actually shows the liberation process on planets and it also shows the major orders and then we also have another site called helldivers.io and this one has a smaller map so it's not really my favorite i like to keep the big map up on my other screen but this one actually does give us some interesting calculations based on what's going on during the galactic war for example the creek right now is in a stalemate we don't have enough helldivers to actually take this planet but if you look up here at mantis Right now, we're failing this mission, which means we're probably going to lose this planet. And then if you look at the supply lines, once we lose Mantis, that means it opens up Mort and all these planets, as well as Drop Near as well. But that's it for today, Helldiver. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, get back out there and deliver some managed democracy.